Now we're tracking the latest in a train derailment near Williams in Coconino County, which is just west of Flagstaff. More than 20 cars went off the tracks. Crews from the Department of Transportation are on the scene right now. Team 12's William Pitts joins us live with the very latest. William. Yeah, guys, I want to show you what just rolled up here a second ago. That semi, that blue semi that just pulled in here, that's carrying replacement railroad ties and replacement track because, as you can see, farther on down, they're making a lot of progress in cleaning up this train derailment. They've had a couple of hours at it right now and moved most of these cars off to the side. Now, BNSF says this happened about 1130 last night. 23 cars from this freight train derailed, some of them carrying cars, vans, even trucks. Coconino County Emergency Management says there was major damage to the train tracks. The rails in some spots, as we've seen, are bent and twisted and going in really weird directions. But no one was hurt and there was nothing dangerous in any of those cars. Crews have been out here all day moving those train cars out of the way so they can get the tracks repaired. People who live around here say they hear the trains all the time but usually ignore them. Last night, though, was different. I heard this crashing that continued for a while it scared me very well. and i got up and looked out but i couldn't see anything because it was so dark i heard noises last night a lot of loud noises and then i didn't hear any more trains go by so it's pretty wild to see and you know we're just thankful that everyone is is safe and there was no lives lost and now the train track is shut down while the cleanup is happening and repairs are done. Obviously, that does mean there are trains backed up to Flagstaff because no one is coming or going. And there's really no other line that they can take in this part of Arizona. Again, officials say no one was hurt in this derailment. We did ask earlier about the Amtrak train that usually comes through here about 8 o'clock at night. We're told it is definitely canceled for tonight. Uh, and they're looking at uh, adding more rail cars to handle the traffic tomorrow. Again, they are starting to clear everything up here and start to get the work done to open this rail line back up. We're live in Williams, William Pitts, 12 News.